Hi everyone. I'm going to be sharing a little bit about my testimony with you all today. Um, so I grew up in a Christian home uh, in Ottawa um, and I attended church with my parents and my brothers um, through most of my childhood and high school years. Um, and I guess I started to struggle with my faith when I was in high school um, towards the end of it uh, and into university. Um, I was struggling with my beliefs as a Christian um, and my commitment to God. I wasn't pursuing Jesus intentionally or actively, um, and I, I just felt really lost. Um, like I wasn't really sure what I was supposed to be doing as a Christian. Um, I was struggling with uh, hearing from God. I feel like I would pray. Um, I would try to pray or I would be asking for direction in a certain area of my life and I just would never hear anything that I thought was from God. And that became really discouraging and I began to, began to ask myself, um, why isn't God there? Uh, maybe he doesn't love me. Um, and I just began, began to reject a lot of, um, a lot of the Christian uh, ways of life. Um, I felt like there were a lot of rules and that I had to live a certain way and act a certain way all the time and that I didn't have any freedom. Uh, so I didn't stop going to church. I kept going to youth group. Um, I did all the, the things that I thought a good Christian should be doing. Um, so I didn't cut everything out, but my heart really wasn't in it. And as I said, I was feeling, I was feeling very lost. Um, I, th I think also part of the reason why I was rejecting God was because I felt like I couldn't live up to being a good enough Christian. Um, yeah, and I, I would make mistakes and, you know, that, that made me a bad person. Um, so this went on into university and uh, when I was in university, I got involved with the Navigators program, um, which is a group for students, a Christian organization for students. Um, and they were such a blessing to me. Um, they would have uh, small groups every week. So we would have a Bible study with our designated small group. There were large group meetings where we would all get together at somebody's house and share a meal um, and just do fun things, fun activities together. Um, and the Navigators just really created a space for me to ask difficult questions about life, about my faith. Um, they weren't perturbed if I would say that I was struggling or that you know, I wasn't sure if I wanted to follow Jesus or what that even meant in my everyday life. Um, they, there were a lot of leaders there who were more experienced in their faith and had wisdom to pass on in, in these types of situations. So they were really great. And um, being in that community helped to rekindle my relationship with God. And then one day I just decided to follow Jesus intentionally again. Um, I wouldn't say there was one particular event that prompted this, um, more just like I felt I was in a place where I could commit myself to Jesus again, and uh, I did. Um, one thing that really clicked for me during this time was um, that we inevitably will make mistakes. Nobody's perfect, um, but His grace is enough to cover all of my mistakes and all my sins every day. Today, yesterday, tomorrow, for the rest of my life, um, I'm enough for God and there's nothing that I can do that will surprise him in any way um, because he already knows everything that I'll do with my life. Um, and that really brought me a sense of peace knowing that he's got a plan and it's, it's more, it's bigger than me um, and I'm not able to mess up God's plan because he's God and I'm not. Um, so yeah, that was, um, it was a difficult time in my life, but um, I'm still committed to following Jesus. And um, partly why I was struggling was I, I wasn't sure what my identity in Jesus was or what that even really meant. Um, what, it, what does it mean to follow Jesus and to be a Christian? And um, one of the verses that really uh, clicked for me during this time was that um, my identity is so many things in Jesus, but I'm also beloved and a child of God. Um, and one of the verses that I really like um, is Jeremiah 31.3.
that says, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. Um, and, and yeah, so that's just part of my story. Um, thanks for listening, guys, and I hope you all stay safe. Bye.